So as you can see, the 8035 is not just about a couple of cosmetic changes to make the D-Max look tougher in the car park. This is a seriously capable 4x4 and we need to put it through some challenges and that's exactly what we're going to do. Having never owned a Bucky myself, I thought a real test of the 8035 would best come from people in the know. People who live, work and play in them on a daily basis. Owners. Flatty. Cheers, eh? Love horn. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thanks. What, what a, a bad way to spend, uh, spend a day. Not you know why you're here? <laughs> to make the fire and do all the manly stuff. Hunt I'm, longer. Yeah, I'm a bit... Things I'm you bit, can't do. Yeah, I'm a bit useless. Mm -mm. But you drive buckies, so that's yeah, yeah. your yeah, yeah, different, obviously a different make. But um, <laughs> we're talking competitors. Competitors. Why did you buy a bucky? Just well, out of interest. No, we farmers. My parents are oh, farmers. Good. Okay, then, and, like, uh, I, I love a bucky. Then, if that's what you're using it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, this bucky, I must say, compared to the old KB, I used to have the KB yeah. as well. Uh, fantastic changes, I thought, um, and really driving on the farm for use or what the, the driving what we did today already enjoyable. Going up the mountain. Um, thought really worked, worked nicely. Yeah, and I also think we were talking about it, the, the gear, the, the shifting of the, the gears. Shifting. Yeah. It's, it's pretty smooth, it doesn't have a, you know, the, the old buckies have got a, a long range and it feels like it revs high and revs low. This one's really good, I thought it was, the drive is, is pretty hard, obviously they've got the suspension that's yeah. a little bit firmer, which is, which is a little bit harder, but the actual drives in terms of gear ratio and changing is actually really good. That's the big thing with this, I mean Arctic Truck, these guys, they, they're proper, they've been sure. around for many years and they do they came into business because it was essential for survival in Iceland. You know, so for Isuzu to go and do this JV and bring this thing out, you know it's going to be super capable. I mean, you were mentioning, we were chatting earlier, you know, we did a bit of a climb now yeah, yeah, yeah. to that viewpoint. Did you battle on the way up there? Not at all. No slipping, no nothing. You know, we were just running in full high. You probably could have got away with it in two-wheel yeah. drive, I yeah. guess. But tomorrow, Bracadena in the dunes. Fantastic. I mean, that's, that's proper. And you're sitting on those massive BF Goodrich tyres. You know, drop a bit of air out of those things. I think we, we can climb anything. Float. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah. And for tomorrow. Yeah, like, like I said, I haven't been on the dunes before. So um, I'm hell of excited to see how it goes. And obviously this vehicle, like we chatted earlier, was it's, it's made for this stuff. So yeah, just um, hoping I'm not going to be the one to get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a brandy. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. thanks. Arctic truck feels at home in the snow. Well, we're going to see if it's comfortable in the sand. Bracadena, just outside Oyster Bay, is the perfect playground and a real challenge for the AT35. I think it's going to smoke this because with that raised ride height, we know that three litre engine is really good, low down torque, plenty of grunt. That uh, Fox suspension is going to certainly help. With that raised ride height, approach angles, departure angles are amazing. But I think the real big talking point here, obviously they put BF Goodrich tyres onto the 8035 for SA. It doesn't have to deal with snow, it's got to deal with all terrain. 0.5 is what we've dropped the tyre pressure to. I don't think there's any dune here that the 8035 can't chop. Arthur, this is a proper, proper play arena at Rakadana. I couldn't believe we have sand like this, this outside Oyster Bay, no, and not even on the beach. Yeah, I mean, myself, you know, how long to put off a you get any idea from like a really lekker spielplek as it is in the day. 
What do you need to make a good, capable 4x4 bucket? What do you look for to be able to do the dunes in Brakadena? As, as die mannen daar by die kant terrein aankom en dan wil ek om 4x4 rijden. Die eerste ding wat ek kyk, is bande. Ja. Jy kan dit gaan alles weer, dit moet nie low profile wees, jy moet behoorlijke bande heen. The tire itself is a suspension mechanism because you can vary the, the tire pressure. You go on rough terrain, you lower the tire pressure and you get a much softer ride that gives you several things. It gives you better traction, it gives you also better comfort and thirdly, it actually gives the vehicle a better ride as well. So less stress on the, on the car itself. And then the second thing is high hoogte. Yeah. And infall and uitfall ook. Ja. Meen, want wat baie keer met sand het jy vinnige uh, hoogtekie wat jy moet uitvat en as jy te vinnig gaan dan stamp jy jou nees. Ja. En dan in sand as jy petrol trap wil jy kracht vind. Ja. En ook net genoeg kracht wat nodig is. Ja. Anders gaan jy snaakse dinge aanvang. You've spent time, you've driven in Suzu's before standard D-Max. Now with this Arctic truck, that's what's important because they've raised that ride height. We've been playing around here it never hits the front. It's actually unbelievable. Nergens vang die nees en die achterkant vang saam. Ja. Die vryhoogte is uit alles. Uit, uit wat dit door ander tref is hy. Is hy daar. D-Max comes with the auto gearbox. But I see you choosing to rather put it into, into manual and you selecting third, third gear mainly. Ja, hierdie, hierdie, hierdie route is self. Baie lekker raad is low range speed. Ja. En dan uh, in tweede wegtrek, derde, en ek lok om in, in, in derde basis. Derde raad is, is ideaal. Ek meen, as jy wil, as jy petrol intrap, dan is dat nie, het is, uh, hy wacht nie. Hy gaan, ja, kijk, hy gaan ons nou uit. As ek, om, as ek petrol trap, is hy daar. Dat is eindelijk te makkelijk. 